Okay. Something that is in between a private blog and a classroom lecture. Uh, small mm, um, clusters of um, of blogs, video blogs, um, experiments with uh, taking personal thoughts and applying them into some sort of educational value or purpose. Whether you are inspired by your dog getting into a fight with another dog and then talking about violence and dominance and mm. uh, how it's used in rhetoric and something like that. So it, it's it's about finding some way of, of using the, the real life, uh, private life narrative in uh, in professional uh, format. Okay, so you want to use personal experiences, relationships, things like that as anchor points, so yes. to speak, for something at a higher level of, of generality um, that would then tie in with some sort of theme or, or concept or figure or maybe dispute in, in classical education. Yes, so, and, and especially with the learning to use some of these uh, possibilities when it comes to technology like 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 the slides so by timing that little bit of five or ten minutes then filling it up with a lot of references and meta tags meta, meta captions really so there's uh, so you're pictures, looking for very short videos yes and 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 it's kind of like cutting classes up into five ten minute pieces yeah those so, are tough to do. I can I can tell you that because, I you know the the idea with that Dr. Sadler chalk and talk was I was going to impose on myself um, something like a twelve minute cap, and I'd always go way beyond it um, because you know you, you you find more and more that you want to to talk about with with these things. But if you have a whole bunch of clubs that you can link to each other then that eliminates that, that problem. Because otherwise the temptation is to, to say, well, I want to tell you about this, but in order to understand this, i got to also tell you about this, and then i got to tell you about this as well, and then it gets gets longer and longer and longer. So that would be that'd be an interesting challenge to do this in five to ten minutes. And, I, and, and, and actually also the other, uh, the, 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 the complete opposite, the total freestyle free talk where you don't actually think about time, where you're just... Mm, freestyle teaching right just you and the blackboard and then you just run for one two three hours whatever you like and then no but, but seriously because what what if 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 the value is there then then finding the bits that are important and tagging uh time code tagging things so you're basically making um instead of making a manuscript and then following it then you're yeah. making the whole video and then you're making the manuscript afterwards and then you're going to put that into a list we we created um a, a form of um uh of uh, blog posts uh, that we call a storyboard where we've basically taken the interviews and then we've cut them up in small bits and yeah. created these slides f for them yeah i was going to say why not why not edit it so you take out the long pauses where you're trying to think of what you want to say yeah that's the idea but yeah. but but make the full resource available as well okay because there are people out there that are so knowledge hungry that they have no problem watching a three hour lecture if it's on something they really want to learn yeah um that's the thing that, something that they had no idea that they really had a desire to to learn about sometimes exactly and uh, so do you want me to determine the specific content the themes of all these or do you do you have a framework that you want me to put these in or, or? I, I'd say as freestyle as possible but um, keeping it very simple because I've noticed that not just your blog but also your research um, and your your lectures can be a little bit um, demanding okay. uh, yeah. sometimes you, you, you go into some details where it's like okay this is not casual entertainment or edutainment um 
so so if if you with the small ones if it's it's just a very concise and 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 concentrated version of um you had the thing about um violence with Anselm maybe if you could just reach some mm, clear cut um description of what are virtues and uh, this one is specific and and then do that and do, do you see where I'm going? So so it becomes like a, a a huge, you know, in in movies when you got these crazy people that are looking for a mystery, and then they have this wall with pictures and and links. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I want it to be the same. Okay. So so everything is open. Everything is free. Whatever you want to talk about or focus on or get into, as long as there's kind of like a starting point that that is focused on the classical liberal arts way of thinking and then everything else becomes tangents and links and small videos and snippets and references and reviews of books or reviews and commentary on films whatever everything is 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 open i saw that documentary about the philosophy of the matrix mm -hmm. and and i think using popular culture in that way is really inspiring um, I find I found another guy that's a filmmaker that's doing small reviews uh, and analysis of, of movies uh, allegorically and symbolic uh, um, reviews. It's it's so counter to what you're used to. You're used to seeing a review being something that that makes you go and watch the movie, very uh, commercial oriented, and yeah. then getting these. Uh, deconstructions of uh, popular uh, art that's just so inspiring and it, it really actually sells it better <laughs> yeah so it, it, it's it's whatever is 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 your interest and 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 inspires you uh, because I think that will motivate people to do the same okay so uh, so I produce a video um, so then, here's here's a sort of logistical question. What do I what do I you want me to do with it after that? The easiest the, the easiest thing to do really would be to put it on say your YouTube channel, link it to me. Uh, in, in Skype would be the easiest. Then I can easily take it and and download it using a uh, key video or similar. And yeah. then I can. Uh, edit it and I can uh, put it in a format and make it into a post. Okay. Link it to you in, in what now? In Skype. That's, okay. the, that's the easiest thing really. Um, because then I just go and, and, and watch it and, and download it. Okay. I don't know. You don't have any time limit on your YouTube channel? Not, not anymore. Great. So just yeah. put raw material up there and just uh, maybe some notes on your direction of thinking. And if you've got other resources like uh, uh, links or, uh, or images or stuff like that, I don't okay. know what you use if you use... Uh, you, you, do you use uh, Google at all yet? Yeah. Because uh, then maybe just put it on Picasso or something like that. Okay. And then just link it to me. Then uh, I can put all of it together and yeah. make it into post. Okay. Use we can use Google Docs for, for some things too if we need to. Yeah, which whichever tools you prefer and uh, I of course I wanted to um, present a, a few gimmicky uh, things uh, especially the iSpring thing that you might be able to want to test out and play with and then we are working on portable WordPress model that you might be interested in um, because that way you can distribute a whole website by just handing it to people on a USB stick or in a single file. Huh. Yeah, I haven't done anything with WordPress. It's very easy. It's very much like Blogger, really. It's just it's got more features and, and, and plugins that makes it uh, a little bit more like a, a real content management system. Hmm. Okay. Um, the reason that we're using it is because um, we are working on a, a project with uh, um, getting technology to Africa. 
Okay. And then having that portability in a physical medium is basically like going backwards in time to the old dial-up model, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 that way of thinking, and and there's also a commercial value in the fact that you can then instead of selling a DVD, which is a limited product, then you can actually mm -hmm. sell a USB stick with enhanced media, where you can put video and audio and whatever. That's a great idea. Um, and if if I get it the way I want it, then people will also start using these sticks as a credential for proving that you are who you claim you are, and then use it uh, as a subscription service. Okay. So you subscribe to that enhanced book, so you get all the following yeah. upgrades, but only if you okay. um, if you have uh, a legit key, right? Yeah. So I should tell you about. Uh, I'm going to continue doing the Doctor Sandler Chalk and Talk things because I like I like doing that. I'm also going to uh, do lecture capture for my two courses I'm teaching this semester. One is an Intro to Philosophy course, and the other one is a, an Ethics course. Cool. Um, and then I've been I've been actually thinking about doing something. My my fiance is kind of a tech person, so she's she's good with with uh, those sorts of things and she helps spur my thinking on this. I've been thinking about doing web courses um, where I get to focus on just what I want to, to do, basically because I've realized that um, I will probably never actually get to teach graduate level courses mm -hmm. just because of the way that you know academic system is. And, I, I went to a low tier school, and so it doesn't doesn't really matter how much I publish. Um, I probably will never be teaching at a place where I could actually do a course just on um, say Anselm's thought, mm -hmm. or on uh, the nineteen thirties Christian philosophy debates, or on Aristotle on anger, or something like that. But you know, because I've got the the video capabilities. If I want to, I can produce these things and then put them out, you know, just on the web, and anybody can can see them. And I can. There's there's sort of a, a problem of um, it, it's I guess it's a motivational problem of do you actually want to invest the time to produce pedagogical materials for, for a course that you'll never realistically have a, a chance to, to teach. Well, And you know, how, how do we normally do that? Well, we write a book, right? And I, I'm doing that as well, because I, I enjoy writing. Um, but I thought this would be a way for me to get to teach the sort of things that I've always wanted to teach, now that I have the leisure to, to do it. So that could be in some ways, all those all those could be good. Um, uh, what's the word? All those could furnish you with materials that you could cut bits out of if you wanted to. What I would actually like to see, on a a little bit further down the road, would be that um, if you did something like that, say you uh, did something on Saint Anselm or uh, on on virtues and and created a book and maybe an enhanced book um, then actually going on tour actually inviting you to come to our faculty and maybe do uh, a seminar or something like that and actually sell the product the book and the enhanced media and and yeah that enhanced media book is really an interesting idea so you're, you're talking about there would actually be a a book in the traditional sense of you know, chapters, text, all that sort of stuff, but each subject thing would also have links to, say, video lectures or sources. And is that you what would, you mean by... You would basically answer? cut your book up, and then you would say that instead of chapters, you will have categories, um, and you will have menus, and you will have search functionality, and so you will have... more of a constellation. Uh, the structure is more like a constellation then. Yes, it's it's basically a website. It, 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 the idea is simply uh, t taking uh, a WordPress template and then figuring out how to use all the features in creating something that's different than a book, but in any ways a little bit like it. 